Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give my first impressions of the new Castle Art Gold Pencils. These are the oil-based pencils that Castle Art just released this month. Um, you might have noticed them popping up on Amazon or their website. They released their pastel set, metallic set, and these oil-based ones. So, I got the 72 Plus. At least they didn't, you know, like mess it up like they did with pastel tints and say it was 50 plus when there was actually 48 colors. So it is 72 pencils. Um, but I got the bundle. And the reason for that was, well, they were sold out of the 120 set and um, might as well get the one with a case. So the one with a case comes with this color product guide and it kind of just goes over um, everything about all of their products, not just these oil-based ones. That said, in here you will see what pencil colors come in the gold range. Gold is now this, well, gold square. So that will apply to this side of the chart. This side is actually for the metallic pencils and then also their acrylic paint tubes. And then pastel tints are on their own little thing. And then I just give you a little thing about their Castle Art Club. And you also get a white paper sketch pad. Let's see, it's A5, 130 GSM. A Bristol board paper sketch pad, 250 GSM. I swear the Bristol board is included with the pastel tints. Pastel tints also come with the, um, whatchamacallit, black. So this is a specific pamphlet to the gold. So it talks about the colors here in the gold set and kind of gives you some little tutorials, including colors if you wanted to create these projects and color them in yourself following their tutorials. So that's good if you're kind of like a beginner. But if you don't like to sketch, then it might not work. <laughs> so, um, oh, and this just talks about their other products. I do really like the mandala design, though, to their gold. And then... Here is another pamphlet on the gold. Yeah, they send you a lot of pamphlets with this one. Um, this kind of talks about the pencils themselves. So they talk about the design. And then in here, it talks about how to sharpen and store them. But this stuff is all pretty generic to most pencils. Um, then it talks about how to hold your pencil. But again, that kind of is generic. Uh, then it has a color theory thing in here, which is great if you don't know color theory. Tints of color, again, all generic. It really doesn't apply to these pencils whatsoever. <laughs> um, neither does this light form and pressure, because this could go to any pencil. Same with these uh, pencil strokes. So basically, they just gave you a beginner's guide. Um, they also showed you how you can make a mixing chart with pencils, but again, uh, this doesn't apply to them specifically. This could be any brand of pencils, to be honest. Um, it doesn't even have to be their oil-based. They even talk about blenders. Um, but again, it's not really specific to the gold. And then talking about burnishing. So yeah, I mean, they give you just info, but it's all pretty generic. And then here are those same tutorials. I don't know, I feel like they kind of just spewed a whole bunch of stuff in here. <laughs> Like, it's repeating itself. It's kind of like, okay, kind of a waste of paper. All right, so here are the Castle Art Gold pencils. So I got the one with a case. It's not a nice case. It's pretty cheaply made. It actually had strings coming off that I'd cut. Um, but, you know, I just didn't feel like buying a case because a case or a nice pencil case actually would cost more than the pencils. Although these are a little pricey right now. I'll leave the link and all that below. But um, so here's how these ones are de designed. Uh, so it does have like the gold dip at the end. But then it says Castle Art Gold. And then it has the color name and the number. And it's going to say GP at the end. So these are not, uh, these numbers don't correlate with the numbers from the wax set. They're totally different. However, the color names you'll recognize because a lot of those names were in the wax based. So, right off the bat, what is with this order? <laughs> um, it swatches down like this, so vertical, 
But even then, uh, what? <laughs> it's like the weirdest order. So like, I mean, at first this made some sense. And then once you got past titanium white, it just went all over the map. Yeah, um, so I'm going to have to put these into a logical order when I have the brain power because I don't understand what on earth they were doing. <laughs> it's like this first part, perfect, and then whoosh, whatever. It's like they just gave up and they're like, let's just throw them in there. I mean, they are still grouped, though. You'll notice blues. Um, we got some like red-pink colors here, greens. But then like we have these pastelish colors randomly placed here this french rose yeah i don't know i've tried to decipher why on earth it's this way the only thing i can think of is their smallest set was in order and then this is the pencils that come after that but that's kind of silly to do it that way um then again this is a budget pencil brand you know so they do come with these ends here so a blunted end now the swatch paper, I actually swatched on this. Normally I throw out these sheets, but I noticed with their pastel tints, they actually included, listen, it's actual cardstock, so it's not like printer paper or cheap paper. It's actually decent paper, nice and smooth. And so while I was swatching, I did notice they were pretty scratchy. And that said, also, they didn't feel like an oil-based pencil whatsoever. Instead, they felt very wax-like. Um, even holding them to the light, oil-based pencils have a nice, like, oily finish to them. Like, you can see it. And I don't see it holding it up to the light. And when I was swatching them, that was one thing I kept saying to myself. I don't get that oily finish. Um, wax have, like, a waxy sheen and then there's the oil sheen. They're very different. And once you get used to your pencil mediums, you kind of know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I always grasp at words when I'm trying to explain it. But all I can say is they, they feel or look oily. I don't know. But yeah, I don't get that. Um, there was some dust. Like I got some dust with these. And uh, they're not hard. So they're not in hard oil base. They're definitely softer. But I wouldn't like use the word creamy. I'd say brute fooners are softer. Now keep in mind, I'm not going to compare these to polychromos um, or Lightfast or any of the high-end oil-based pencils because these are not high-end artist grade. These are most definitely budget-friendly. That said, they can be used by artists, but I just don't want you to get you guys to like confuse them. Um, it's just polychromos have Lightfast ratings. Um, they use really good pigments in their products, less filler. I think the reason these feel so soft and less like an oil-based pencil is because of the fillers, to be honest. I just think there's more filler, and that's the issue I'm running into. Um, because they just do not feel like an, any oil-based pencil. And even Brute Fooners, the 120 square Brute Fooners, <clears throat> when I use them, they feel like an oil pencil, and they have that oily finish. These don't. So it was kind of strange. So that's two things that instantly I was like, this is kind of weird. Um, so one thing I wanted to do was give them a test because there is certain books in my collection that I always use oil-based pencils on, and that's Hannah Carlson books and Maria Troll. The reason for that is they just, their pages or the style of paper takes oil pencil better. So I thought, hey, um, because, you know, this is a first impressions, let's try coloring like a really small image and see how they how they feel on the paper. Um, I'm kind of doing a few of my first impression videos like this, so they're already swatched, and I do like a quick little test. Now, this is not my final review either. Remember, I review after I have thoroughly tested them and used them on pages and whatnot, and that takes weeks. But my first impressions at least give you an idea, but don't ever think they're in my final, because sometimes I'll do a first impressions, and then at the review, totally feel different. Other times it's the same. I'd say 90% of the time it's the same, <laughs> but just putting that disclaimer out there. So I was just gonna color this little mushroom here on the first page, because that's a pretty good test. So what I'm going to do is grab some colors and then I'll be back to um, color that on camera with you and we can kind of see how these react because like I said, I'm going to put them on a paper that I use 
oil-based pencils on all the time and see because they just don't feel oil-based but maybe they will when they're actually used versus swatched so I'll be right back okay I just picked a really simple set of colors and um, it's just a small mushroom here I'm not gonna go crazy so I also made sure to pick a dark purple and the reason for that is I wanted a darker color because those tend to be scratchier and less soft while some of these other colors I picked are a lot creamier Oh, I hate using that word, though, because it misleads you to think they're smooshy, like Prisma, and they're not. And also, these are oil-based, so let's not compare them to Prisma at all. Um, they did sharpen well, though. Each one sharpened just fine, so let's go from there. And we'll just kind of... I'm doing just a very simple coloring. So this one's kind of, um, okay on the tooth of this paper. Like I said, I, I use oil-based pencils in my Maria Troll and Hannah Carlson pages because the tooth of that paper just takes to oil really well. Something about it. It's smooth, but it just has a teeny bit of roughness. All right. Let's kind of just see how they blend and layer. And of course, when I do my actual review, I'll have colored a few pages and then I'll do my blending tests and whatnot. But I just wanted to give my first impressions because I may not have time to get around to these this month. Uh, coloring with them, it kind of depends. Okay, and then we've got, oops, well, I broke the tip on that, but that was my fault. It smacked you against my desk and book. So I guess they break well. Yeah, see, they're blending fine but they don't feel like an oil-based pencil. And they don't even feel like an oil-based pencil on this paper either. That's why I'm saying I feel like it's probably because they have a lot of fillers in these. I mean, the pigments, they do have some bright colors, you know, but um, their wax base set has some bright colors too. I'm not the biggest castle art fan though. A lot of you probably know that. <laughs> They're just, uh, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of them. But now here's the other thing. These wear down pretty easy. Like a traditional oil-based pencil, they tend to be harder, and that's just the name of the game, but they'll hold a point longer, so they're kind of nice to do like hair and you know detail work because you're not sharpening. Whereas you can feel these ones go down a little bit on you. All right, let's just color in here as well. And I'm just kind of doing a very random palette. But this is more so just to test them on a paper that I know my oil-based pencils work on. And now, if you used a wax-based pencil on these, this paper, it won't be bad. It's just, I, like I said, oil takes really well to this paper. And these pencils are doing well on this paper, which makes them more confusing. Because normally with wax, you'll, you'll notice a difference. But I still don't feel... It's just they're so soft, but not like the Brute Fooner Square soft. Root Furner squares are really soft, um, but you definitely know their oil. You can feel it. I'm layering on top here to kind of see if I notice more of those layers, getting that oily sheen to them. Because when you're swatching, you don't put a ton of layers down. Whereas when you're coloring, you add more and more layers, and that can kind of help you better see that oily sheen but normally when I'm swatching something I can instantly be like oh yeah this is an oil based pencil and I just don't get that feeling from these these aren't as dusty as their wax based ones I'll give them that that's one of my gripes with wax based but I still don't see the oil sheen it almost seems more like a waxy sheen that's what's bothering me now, there's been a few people that have gotten these, um, and theirs were just shattered cores. And that's the other thing I'm kind of curious about, because uh, wax-based, you know, 
I notice I break and shatter cores easier with those, whereas oil-based, it, it's not as easy to do. But, I mean, this is a budget oil-based pencil, but so is the Brute Funer Square, and I just, I feel the oil. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying that, too, because that is the one thing that's really bothering me. Now, see, this darker color is going to be dustier. Also, as I'm putting this darker one down, I'm seeing the oily finish to this darker color while I didn't get that feel down here. I'm starting to feel it up here, so that's good. But this one is still, it's soft, so I don't, I mean, these will hold a point better than a regular castle art for sure. But, um, I don't know. We'll see. Will I end up liking these? And Because I'm not a big fan of the wax ones. I really have to force myself to use those ones. <laughs> but when I saw their pastel tint, I got those. And I'm actually pretty pleased with them, other than the price. The price is outrageous for the pastel tints. Absolutely outrageous. However, then I saw these and I was like, well, I got to try these out too because I've had a few of you ask as well. Um, I had already bought them. I just hadn't gotten around to doing my first impressions. I actually swatched them pretty quickly after getting them. So they're layering and blending out pretty nicely. I mean, I did pick colors really close to one another. I didn't do any crazy jumps. Most oil-based pencils layer a lot easier, or you should be able to layer with them. Brute Furner squares are a little bit of a hybrid because they're you can smoosh them a little more, um, but they have a great color range. Again, like a the colors aren't too bad in this one, but the order they put them in, holy moly. Like, if someone doesn't know how to put pencils in order or doesn't want to, that order can really screw up your coloring process and color picking, you know? Okay, so we colored just a little purple mushroom. Yes, I'm inspected. See, and, yeah, the finish to me looks more waxy than oily. I think I have an oil-based page in here because I have a wax-based page in here also. Where's my... Yeah, see, that's a wax one. Yeah, this is done with polys. And you just, you see that oily finish on this paper. I know you won't see it on camera. This is more so me just saying it to myself at this point. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they blended nicely. I'll give them that, although I'm seeing a little bit of a transition line there. But I'm not using a hard pressure, so the pigment comes out without a lot of work. That's good. You know, polychromos, you either have to press hard or layer for days. So these definitely don't won't do that. But um, there we go. Just transition that up. They do wear down pretty easily, considering I just colored a teensy mushroom. But they still don't have that oily finish. They have like a waxy sheen. So I'll definitely have to play around with them. Um, let me know what you guys think if you've bought these. If they feel like an oil-based pencil to you or not. Am I just losing my mind? Could be. I have a ton of pencils I'm swatching lately and testing. Um, this last month, you guys saw my haul, so you know what I mean. But... So something feels off with these. Um, also, in this 72 count set, aside from the outrageous order, um, the color selection is okay, but you're really lacking in browns, just FYI. And then, of course, you're lacking in grays, but that's always the curse of a 72 set. You know, they're not going to give you a ton of grays because you would complain. Um, but, you know, you got a few of those, but browns are really really lacking um you got a lot of rusty colors but i mean we don't even have a dark brown mars black is more like a payne's gray color 
but there's not even like a, a really dark brown. The, the darkest is burnt umber, and that's not super dark. Now you can add some black to it and layer it, but I don't do that. <laughs> I feel it's, you know, for my time, I want the colors already made. I don't want to make the colors. So uh, you do get a white, and then like I said, you do have the black. Um, they do have like good selection for skin tones, except... Yeah, some of these, you're still missing some colors to make darker skin tones. Um, oranges are okay. You don't... Oh, yeah, I guess you do have a true red. Okay, I was about to say there's no true red in here. Although it's... I wouldn't even call that a true red. It's a little, little white. Um, green selection is alright. You do have some blends that you can easily make with the selection here. Um, purples, they gave you a ton of purples for a 72 count set. But yeah, I mean, I gotta put these in color order. I mean, this is such a wacky order. It's like, I don't even know what they were thinking when they did this, to be honest. I'm like, what is this? So, um, and then GP, I think stands for gold pencil. Because pastel tint had like PT or something like that on it. Uh, that's all, I think that's what the GP at the end of the number means, but not 100% certain. But again, this is going to be a different numbering system than the wax-based. But the color names, you'll recognize some of those, like uh, Bengal Rose Deep. I guarantee there's going to be a Bengal Rose Light, probably, in the 120 set. Um, you know, stuff like that. Grenadine, Azalea uh, Pink. Now, other brands use those names too, but I recognize them from the wax set, especially the use of deep and light shades. So we got purple deep, purple, purple light. So, um, but in the wax base set, they come in order, like they're even numerical order, whereas this one's 89, and then you don't get to purple till 29. <laughs> so even the numbering system is kind of funky. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, it's an It's an odd odd thing and I'm not going to try and figure out what it is at, the, at all but yeah I mean it's not bad it's not great uh yellow wise you only get that yellow the rest are these orangish yellow or you know yellow red colors so you got to keep that in mind I couldn't get my hands on the 120 it was sold out um and then like I said they feel soft but they have you know you get more dust with the darker colors and they feel more waxy than oil but they're claiming to be an oil-based pencil and I used them on a paper that normally shows that oily sheen and I'm seeing a wax more of a waxy sheen so we'll see but let me know if you have these in the comments below your thoughts if you feel the same feel different um I'd love to know, and then I will do a review very soon. If you are interested in them, I'll put a link in the description below. I'd recommend grabbing one of the smaller sets and trying them out um, and not doing the 72 or 120, just in case you don't like them. Of course, Amazon also always has returns, but I would hate for someone to just order something to return it. That's kind of wasteful, <laughs> so um, try a smaller set if you're on the fence. Uh, now, that said, the pencil is smooth. Um, I would actually use these over the wax-based, To I'll be honest. Uh, but that's just because the wax-based are really dusty to me, really scratchy. These are a lot smoother than those. And uh, my only gripe is they just don't feel like an oil-based pencil. But And they, they do have some manufacturing quality issues, like dripped paint. I even have one... Uh, it looks like it was chewed up. I don't know if it's going to focus, but it looks like it was chewed up in the machine. And I had another one with like bubbling paint. Where did that one go? I know I have one in here that like the paint on one side of it was bubbling. And I was like, oh, that's, that's interesting. I mean, but hey, I guess if the core is intact, um, but yeah, like, I mean, it is a budget pencil, so whatever but yeah guys that is the castle art gold the uh for now i'm gonna say oil-based pencil because i'm not convinced it is but either way it's an improvement from what they had in their wax-based set so i guess that's a bonus 
I can't even figure out where I got this. Oh, there we go. So yeah, um, I will have a review as soon as I'm ready. But until next time, guys, take care. Bye now.